In the Season 1 Battle Pass, you can unlock the 12 gauge Dragon's Breath round. So let's see if they're any good in zombies. But before we head in, here is my Dragon's Breath build for the Marine SP. And here is my Dragon's Breath build for the ASG. So with the shotguns here in BO6, we already have a few different firing options. And by a few, I mean two. We have Rapid Fire in the 12 gauge Slugs. And the Slugs in this game are absolutely terrible. It's a huge far cry from uh, how they were in MW3, where most shotguns in that game were bad. But the ones that did work only worked because of Slugs. But it already looks like it's working all right here. We're still one shot in zombies. It is only round one, but it does look like it's having that nice little Dragon's Breath fire effect on these zombies. But with the Dragon's Breath effect, we cannot use Rapid Fire, which has been my go-to on shotguns in this game so far. And also with the Dragon's Breath ammo equipped, you cannot use the CF, CFH, CHF barrel. Whatever the barrel is that increases headshot damage, you cannot equip that with Dragon's Breath, which is a little disappointing. But in a perfect world, this fire damage should more than replace the headshot damage, but I guess we'll find out today. But while we're testing these shotguns out with Dragon's Breath, I also want to get both of my shotguns to Opal. And as you can see right here, I already have Mystic Gold on this one. And that's because I am waiting to hit this Gobble Gum machine so I can get the wall power Gobble Gum and go ahead and grab our ASG from right here. So come on, Mr. Peaks. Help me out here, buddy. <gasps> Let's go. Let's go ahead and pop that. And give me the ASG, please. Now let's make sure this is also got Dragon's Breath on and working. Looks like it. All right, we're in business. Let's grab another one on our way down. I... I think I have a few gobble gums in this pack to kind of help us get enough points faster or at least have the ability to save points because I do have our soda fountain perk right here. Holy shit. I just caught the melee for that zombie from the prison guard. I've never actually seen him survive that initial attack. But as I was saying, I got our soda fountain gobble gum on here and I also have a few double points ones that could maybe help us stay all the way up and get our money up so we can get both these weapons fully pack-a-punched. And I'm really hoping that we get lucky on some of these chests that spawn in the water over here on Terminus. That way we can save some salvage and get these shotguns up to legendary. But as for our camera challenges today, like I mentioned before, our Marine SP is already done, so it's waiting on us to get done with this ASG. And for our ASG, we need to get 30 parasite kills, and then we also need to get kills on zombies that are affected by our tactical, which actually is going to be a little bit tough today because there's still a glitch going on in zombies at the time I'm recording this where you, whenever you try to buy a lethal or a tactical from the crafting machine or the crafting bench, it'll only give you one, but still take your salvage for trying to craft multiple. So we gotta get really lucky with some drops or really take advantage of whenever we get a, a decoy or a, or a shock stick again. Oh, there's a shock charge. Give me that. And let's go ahead and get our last reactor on. Can we spot any fish from up here? Oh, shit. That is not what I meant to do. We might lose this AMP unless I can hit the nastiest nade of all time. Watch this. Oh, nope. It's gone. You better haul ass and get over there. Leave it alone. Oh, shit. We just barely got that. It's not over yet. Gotta keep the parasites away, too. Okay, we got it. Ooh, I thought I was being slick. We had a double points going. I wanted to go ahead and throw an impact nade at a, a little pool of fish, a, a, a school of fish, I should say, and get like, I don't know, 400 extra points for doing so. But we almost completely fumbled the generator. I wonder if Dragon's Breath rounds work on the fish from up here. Does it work the same as like an explosive round? Nope, they don't care. Let's activate this. And we can already go ahead and get this to pack a punch too. And I've been wondering whether or not I should use an ammo mod on these weapons since they already have fire damage. Because I kind of want to see what kind of damage it can do without an ammo mod and just how the fire damage is doing. But also, I kind of want to throw Napalm on there to do even more fire damage. And then another part of me wants to throw on like Cryo Freeze or something and get double elemental damage. So I'm pretty sure there's a calling card for doing like electric and fire or just like two different kinds of elemental damage to zombies at the same time. So maybe I'll just wait until I get this to pack a punch three to try it out. And you guys already know what time it is. It's time to see if the RNG guides are on our side today. Do we got anything good in here? Uh, nope. The HE1. Do not want that. No, thank you. What about here? Ooh, dead wire. Oh, uh, okay. I'll just throw this on here for right now. Now, what do we got cooking over on this island? Actually, now that we have dragon's breath, I wonder if we can activate those pirates, like those uh, little skeletons in the sand with this. You know what? Let's just go stupid. Let's go crazy. Activate some frenzied so we don't have to reload and just absolutely destroy this whole horde. They're getting ran through right now. Holy shit. 
They're all gone. All sleep. Thanks for dropping the double points right at the end of that. Come on, game. I guess I could have popped my uh, double points gobble gum, but I'm not one of them thinking guys. But I will use my advanced technology to go fishing. Eat that. Oh, they swam away. Cocksuckers. And this might be one of the first times I haven't seen a single chest on this shoreline. Oh, here we go. What do we got in here? Damn, they're not trying to help me out today. Our treasure hunting so far has been a bust, but I'm not giving up yet. Break up from me over here. Ooh, a pack two crystal gimme. See, never give up, never surrender. Always keep gambling. Let's also grab this watch before the stank come over and get me. And if we're fast enough, we might be able to get this as well. What we got in here? Ooh, napalm. I did say I was gonna wait till we hit pack three to put it on here. So we're gonna have to wait. Ooh, and a gobble gum, perkaholic. One of these times I'm gonna get it right. Nope. And this is our last island that we can check. Let's also upgrade our rarity a little bit. Parasites. Actually, bring on more of ya. I want to get this camo out of the way. I don't want to have to deal with you guys. There we go. Give me that. No other chest. What we got? Come on, dude. I only expect legendary aether tools in pack three crystals or I'll be disappointed. Oh, and here comes an amalgamation. This is perfect. How much damage are we doing to you? Ooh, it's kind of doing all right against you. That ain't bad. We are already pack two, though. I guess it's round 16. That's a fair time to be pack a bunch, too. Fuck them up. And the rest of these zombies up. We're still basically one shot in every zombie. Let's double check. Yep, looks like it. It does have, like, a little bit of delay. It's like they're almost alive for another second, and then the fire damage takes them out. But it ain't doing bad so far. Any more chests around these parts that I should know about? Or maybe that little RC boat? Is that over here? Oh, now we're getting armored zombies. That still looks like it one-shots them. And then with insta-kill, obviously, it's about to one-shot everything. But so far, I'm liking it. It seems to be doing a good amount of damage. Oh, and this is that a decoy? Hold on. Let's go ahead and use that. Did that immediately break? Oh, no. We're good. I thought it went into the water and broke. Let's get some progress towards our camo. And now let's also go get melee macchiato and get started on uh, these little pirate thingies. Give me that. And what's going on, sailor? I will be taking the speed cola because I think our reload might uh, help with it. Same with our field upgrade. Actually, I don't even think the reload's too bad on this gun. I think it's a 30 round mag. So you don't have to worry about it too much. There's a lot of ammo in reserve too. Let's get this up to purple. And let's upgrade our armor a little bit. And I think there's a side Easter egg with taking all the zombies in the cages out. So let me try doing that. I think if we take them all out one round, the next round there will be like a parasite in them. And then if we take the parasite out, then we get a free perk or something. That'd be nice. Oh, and look at this. How convenient. Was a standstill? Oh, we got this in the bag. This is about to be way too easy. Oh, and an insta-kill too. Gimme. And let's make light work of this. Already done. A cashmere? Uh, you know what? Let's just use that right now. Shoot these guys while they're going to it. If we can kill them fast enough before the cashmere does. And we get a little more progress towards this camo. Let's also not end the round yet just to see if there's still some zombies in these cages. Oh, well, there goes that. Oh, there's a parasite or a vermin. Another one up here. Can you even hit that? There we go. And there's one here. Any more? Oh, Mangler. How's it going, dude? Looks like our fire damage still kind of works like the elemental fire damage from the ammo mod, and it looked like the Mangler was still weak to it. That's pretty cool. It's almost like having a free napalm burst. Anything new in here? Oh, there's another vermin. Don't you spit at me, motherfucker. I'm trying to help you. Did I mess this up somehow? I ain't seen anything else in there. Oh, wait, here we go. A Mangler spawned in there. Take him out. Oh, shit. That scared me so bad. Well, we got a random perk and it's stamina up. Let's go. God damn, it made that, that sound for the random perk and the amalgam showed up out of nowhere. All right, now we can go hunting for some booty. Let's test our theory. Can we dragon's breath the bones? It doesn't look like actual fire's hitting it. It only... Oh, shit. God damn. Fucking jeez. What I was saying, it only looks like it activates once the bullets hit something that's, uh, I, I guess I wouldn't say living, but up and running. Stop it. Bad. 
You wanna try that shit again now that I got my frenzy going? Oh yeah, you probably do, because I'm out of ammo. Alright, well, is this gonna do anything for you? It is pack two. Fuck two. There you go. Alright, well, guess we gotta go get some mollies. Or a molly, since we can't buy more than one. Ready, look at this. Got a lethal molly. Bought one, ready? Let's try to buy two. Can't. Now one dropped on the ground, and I'm pretty sure it took my salvage for it. Scam. But it's about to give us a uh, perkaholic for our troubles. No way! Holy shit! I knew it. If I just kept saying it every time, I'd be right one of these times. Oh, and did I never give the dude his watch? God damn it. I thought just talking to him would have started it up. So now we're gonna get scammed again. I'll be back, parasites. I guess while we're in the area, let's do one of these. I'll be taking this. We got Jug with it. Not bad. Here's your stupid ass watch. Dumbass. Oh, and look at us. 30 parasite kills. All done with those. Now we can go ahead and buy the molly and go burn the bones. Zombies, stop hitting me. Here you go, dickhead. I'm also going to pop our double points. Here comes our mangler. And let's frenzied and just light all these guys up. Ain't nobody surviving this one. Oh, actually, he's kind of tanking these shots. Is it not that good against armor? Oh, shit. Let me out of here. Let me out. Here we go. Uh, let's throw one of these down. Maybe we can get some kills against our tactical, too. Woo! That was very close. Why are you so tanky against this? You're supposed to be weak to fire. What happened? Are we starting to hit a wall? Because it works fine against the other manglers, but this guy is tanking it. We even have Deadshot now. What's going on, dude? You want to tell us your secret? There we go. Oh, I'll take that and that. Ooh, and that. On to the next. All right, I'm going to pop our stock option and try to buy ammo here. Slide on out. And let's see if we can take all these guys out. Why does the purple keep going away from my coin? It, like, just keeps flashing in between blue and not. Oh, damn. Okay, well, I don't matter if I can see or not. You're going down, buddy. There we go. Give me that. We got one more coin to get, but I'm going to go grab pack three before then. Because we can take those elites out, but it's taking a little bit. Give me that. Let's go return these coins while we're in the area. Here we go. Are we still one-shotting now that we're pack three? No ammo mod? Let's uh, try to find a zombie that isn't already damaged. Let's do this one. Yeah, that's one-shotting. We aren't even at legendary yet. It actually one-shots multiple zombies as long as the spread can hit them. Now let's go get our last coin. How much damage are we doing now? Oh, still not a whole lot to this guy. These HVTs are extremely tanky against this. I feel like it's got to be an armor thing, but the armored zombies take way more damage than this. Either way, he's gone. Grab that. There you go, buddy. Enjoy. I love doing the side Easter egg. It's such a good way to pass the time while grinding camos. What would you drop for us? The Tanto, the Strider. Is that it? Oh, and the Compact. All decent weapons. Oh, we got enough money, so let's get this to pack three. So now we got both our shotguns pack three. This one's going to need a rarity upgrade, though. But so does this one. We need to get this to legendary. I want to see his full potential. We'll get that. Now we should really focus on finishing off these tactical kills and then getting our kills rapidly because we're approaching round 30 pretty fast. And if these guns are like 99% of the guns in the game, uh, the damage is going to fall off pretty quickly here. So we need to get a lot of kills very fast. And we need to try to save as many manglers as we can for our opal challenge. So, quick little shock stick. Light them all up. And let's buy another one. Bam. And hopefully this does it. I feel like we've gotten a decent amount of zombies affected by our tacticals. Oh, there's XP. Oh, that was for our shock stick. Okay, maybe we need to go buy a decoy or another shock stick. Might as well keep doing shock sticks. All right, now this should be it. Ain't no way we're not done with the camo after this. Go ahead, show me. Don't be shy, game. All right, you're being way too modest. Ain't no way I didn't get it done right there. Now, come on. If I don't have the camo right here, they're scamming me again. That's plenty of zombies. I only needed 100. Okay, game. All right. I see you. I see how this is going. 
Fuck me, dude. No way. And I do not have enough salvage to buy another self revive. I might have to save and quit here and switch my uh, quick revive augment. Just keep myself in the game. Or I could do this. Just mangler up real quick. Grab all the salvage from these guys. I also have a, a golden key for the armory. You can see if that gives me a self revive. Or literally any tactical would be nice. Any tacticals here? Nope, just a lethal. We do have one zombie. We have, we have some time to think here. Plan our next move. All right, help me out here, game. Chopper gunner. Don't uh, really need that, though. Oh, tactical's in here. Okay, now we're cooking. Actually, the chopper gunner might be good. I can end the round and then use the chopper gunner and just pick up all the salvage that gets dropped. Let me try to get to a good area where the zombies aren't going to go run inside. It does 1,200 damage with each fire tick on this? That is not bad at all. All right, they're spawning in. Let's use it. Oh, that's easy. Hook them up. Y'all better be dropping salvage. Give me all this. Thank you. Oh, we got just enough from that. I'm a genius. That was perfectly executed. Okay, let's pop this. Use it. Give me that, and we're good to go. Really gotta start using tacticals though. We gotta get this camo done. Let's use our stock option, and our double points will be good right about here, so we can start giving money for perks. Oh, and this is not good, you're getting drilled. These manglers do not play around, oh my Atlanta. We just got ourselves revived back, come on. Give me a break. We don't even have enough to get another one. This is looking tough. And we just used all of our gobble gums. Get me out of here. We are not safe right now. I think I need to go find Deadshot. And hopefully that can carry us. Because I'm pretty sure I just heard an amalgamation spawn. And that's uh, scary. I don't want to deal with him. Oh, there he is. Give me. Oh, shit. I hate that everything just spawns in front of you in this game. There's another one, too. We got the Mario Brothers of Amalgamations. Leave me be. Oh, we need to run. We need to book it. We're not doing anything to these guys. Run. Go. Oof. And I don't think we have enough money to buy ammo. I guess we do have a whole other shotgun we could use. But it has no rarity on it. None. Oof. No. 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 Oh, we're struggling. We're struggling hard. Ooh. Stim. I need to get the hell out of Biolab. It is not safe here. We need one of these manglers to die. That way they can drop some ammo so we can use our other shotgun that's actually raritied up. The difficulty difference on this round is insane. I don't know how we're going to get Opal or even finish off our gold challenge. Let's pause for a second. Um, What gobblegum packs do I have that I could potentially get something to help me here? Ooh, if I could get Idolize or the cash back, that'd be very nice. We'll just use that. And is this still on cooldown? Yeah, 70 seconds. Okay. We gotta just try to kill these guys in the meantime. Okay, all right. Dead wire actually went off there. Give me that. We got to use it. <sighs> Clutch. Clutch chopper gunner. Come on, help us get back on our feet. I think that's the round. Let's go. We still don't have any salvage, though. We have some ammo. And a purple key. And give me a gobble. Come on. Shields up. All right, whatever. Whatever keeps us alive. I am stressed. Come on, RNG gods. Help me. Spawn a zombie, though. So I thought. Let's go. Mutant injector. We should be able to take out enough zombies here to be able to get enough salvage to buy another self revive. But then we just need to stay alive. Now, give me everything I need right here. We're back in business. I already see a good amount of stuff on the ground, but a lot of it looks like lethals. We need tacticals. I really should have got that out of the way early. Unless I already have it done and I've been doing it for nothing. Okay, we took out a majority of the round. Actually, not that much salvage over here. And we left one mangler to take out ourselves. This could potentially have a kill streak. No, but a gold key. And we might want to go do the Sam trial while there's not zombies this round. And we are 50 salvage away from another self revive. So we just need one of these parasites to drop one. There we go. And we just need to make a quick trip across the drink. Give me that. All right, we're good. All right, now what's this trial? Hold the location, easy. I can do that in my sleep. But I guess uh, overall review of the Dragon's Breath currently on this ASG, it's holding its own. Like we can still kill zombies here on round 33. It's a little bit tough, but they're going down and they're actually going down kind of quickly. Overall, it's a pretty decent weapon.
I'd recommend it for sure. Give me that max ammo right now. And what we get for that? A ray gun. I don't want that. I don't. But we got a decent amount of scrap from that. Let's see if we can finally put this challenge to bed. Because we are getting more than enough elites right now to complete opal for one of our guns. We just need to hunker down. There we go. Oh, accidentally bought two and wasted my salvage. Awesome. No, I don't get the second one. There we go. Decoy down. And we are currently experiencing a thunderstorm. That shit hurts. Apparently just being out on the water for however long activates the thunderstorm. I thought it was just this specific island you need to stay on for three rounds. But apparently not. I do need to fucking leave the island though. God damn. I got taken out by lightning. I've been smitten by Zeus. Lame. I'm out of here. Now I'm going to try to survive for as long as I can, but I think the smart play at this point is to just go play the guided mode on Terminus and get the rest of these done. But also it sucks because we're already on such a high round that we have so many elites spawning that Opal will be a breeze. Come on, help me out. Idolize. Beautiful, actually. Let's use that. Now draw me something good. Okay, you're not going down very easily, but you will, right? There we go. Didn't drop anything though. And the idol eyes is about to go away. Come on, Amalgam. Die. Perfect. Give me that. Mutant injector. Let's use it. That was such a clutch gobble gum. And there is a nuke, but I think I have a better chance of getting drops if I just kill all the zombies on my own. And then we could probably just leave the mangler for last. Maybe do a little bit of damage to him. Get these guys weakened. And just focus on the zombies. That's fine if we take one of them out. Or two of them. Fuck two of them. We got just a mangler left in the round. We gotta stop progressing these rounds. We are not making it easy on ourselves. Time to keep relying on RNG. Help me out here, Key. No way, dude. I don't want a ray gun. I don't. That don't help me. Did I misread the challenge or something and I need to get like 300 kills while they're affected by my tackle or what? I already feel like I'm pretty close to that. Come on. Did that decoy literally just disappear? What the fuck? I've never had the camel curse hit this hard. Well, I have, but... It always feels like it's doing overtime, trying to fuck with me. This concussion ain't gonna disappear on us, will it? Oh, I concussed myself. That's always good. Two would be like, is this camo bugged or something, dude? Let's do this. I'm gonna go see what our camo progress is at. What? Only 61 out of 100? You gotta be fucking kidding me. All right, game. I see ya. Okay, so I'm either the smartest or the dumbest man in the world because I just started a directed game here on Liberty Falls. And I think as long as I don't save the game, I should keep my save on Terminus. And I should just be able to leave and go back to there once we get our uh, tactical kills done. But if not, it's really gonna suck. Come on, we gotta have the camo by now. Oh, let's go. I sniffed it out. Now we should be good to leave the game and not save and quit. And our save should be there, right? We're gonna find out. Come on. It is still there. Perfect. I'm a genius. Now, if we can manage it, we just need to get 30 manglers down with each gun, which shouldn't be too crazy difficult. It's just we gotta really pay attention to where all the zombie hordes are at. Like right there. And if we get a good train going, we should be able to light them up. Ooh. We're already flying through these. Let's go. And now that we don't have to constantly buy tacticals, we should be good to save up and get our weapon up to gold. And I am tempted to just throw on napalm burst. Get that double fire going. Ooh, that actually might be better. Now just keep spawning in manglers and we'll be all right. Okay, we're getting the hang of this. We're good. We're fine. I can't believe this is still working this well on round 39. This thing's a monster. Dragon's Breath rounds might be the move. Oh, and there we go. Nice epic Aether tool. Put that on here. And we are slowly but surely making our way up to gold. This has been a crazy comeback in this game. What? No way. Come on. Is anyone low enough to go down from a few shots? I don't think so. Oh, wait. There's a vermin. Come on. There we go. Look at us go. 
switch that quick revive augment and we're right back in it and still keep a self revive. That's what I'm talking about. Except I might go right back down. So let's not uh, get too excited about it. Whoa! Holy shit! No way! You just commando proed me, you motherfucker! I can't believe that! He actually just glided on me. Don't you walk away, zombie. Let's go. That was such bullshit. I've never seen lunge like that in my life. Oh no, that scared me so bad. Oh shit. Let's try to activate this. See if we can get him into the trap. Please don't follow me behind here. Oh, they are? Nice, awesome, cool, we're dead. We made it very far though for what we were doing. And the zombies attacking us in the cutscene got pulled up by the turret. I've never seen that before. I didn't even know that could happen. We gotta at least be close to getting it done, right? Like, if we're not, then we can just knock them all out in uh, directed mode. Let's see. Where are we at? We're not even at gold. Oh, it really sucks to be this stupid. I completely forgot about gold. All right, time to speed run these camos. This should be our camo right here. There we go. Nice little gold. And now we just need to focus on the manglers and that's it. Is this our last mangler right here? Show me Topol or Opal. Opal Gondom style, please. There's no way I haven't killed 30 manglers with this yet. I have 49 special kills this game. How is that not Opal? I gotta go check. No way we're only two away. And this should be Opal right here. So we got one shotgun done. That took way longer than it needed to. Why is it not showing me Opal though? Are the Dragon's Breath rounds like not letting me get this kill? Is that what's happening here? All right, if this isn't Opal right here, I'm gonna lose it. Come on, give me my camo. There it is, thank God. Is this it? I feel like this is 30 manglers. We fought a lot of them. Go ahead and give me Opal. Show me Opal. Right about now. Come on. Camo now. All right. Something's fishy. I've taken out 40 specials. I feel like this dragon's breath actually makes it so I'm not getting these these kills to count. That's ridiculous. We've gone we've gone above and beyond. So I guess a word of warning, don't use dragon's breath if you're going for these special or elite kills. Opal. Please. This is fucked up. I don't even care if I lose the game at this point. We've been going for so long. There's no way I haven't gotten 20 mangler kills this game. I've gotten way more than that. I've almost gotten 20 in a round. Come on, dude. That's ridiculous. I had to go to round 43 for all that. And we still don't even have it. So much for speed running this. Let me see. What are we at? No way. I still need two more. Yeah, right. All right, I'm done right there. Well, at least there we can say that Dragon's Breath rounds are pretty good, but do not use these if you are going for Mangler kills. For whatever reason, it seems like it counts every third kill. Because I just went all the way up to round 43 using then after going in and doing the directed mode and just still don't have Opal on the shotgun. It's just absolutely ridiculous. It's a good attachment, but damn, does it hurt your camo grind. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.